Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Briggs and I'm here today to provide you all with another update regarding the PACT Act. As you might know, last week President Biden officially signed the PACT Act into law. However, at the time of the signing, he and the VA Secretary McDonough also announced a change to the bill's staggered rollout of certain presumptive conditions for covered veterans regarding their burn pit exposure. Originally, these presumptions were meant to be effective upon the date of enactment only for certain conditions. Among those conditions were asthma, respiratory cancers, brain cancer, sarcoidosis, chronic rhinitis, and a number of other conditions. In addition to that main subset, they were also effective on the date of enactment for claims involving dependency and indemnity compensation, or if the veteran is terminally ill, homeless, under extreme financial hardship, 85 years or older, or could otherwise show sufficient cause for them to get the earliest possible effective date. However, aside from those exceptions, the presumptions were meant to become effective on a rolling basis for certain conditions over the course of the next few years. For example, from October 1st, 2023, was going to be the effective date for chronic bronchitis and COPD. October 1st, 2024, would be the effective date for head cancer, neck cancer, and another a number of other cancers. And then finally, October 1st, 2025, would be the date of claim for kidney cancers and melanoma. However, like we mentioned at the top, that has since changed thanks to uh, an agreement between the president and the secretary of VA, which they announced as they were signing the bill, and that effectively this staggered rollout plan would be removed. So now all conditions are going to be effective from the date of enactment, which is August 10th, 2022. It's important to note, however, that while these presumptions will technically be effective from August 2022, once the bill is implemented, VA is not going to start adjudicating these claims until the final rule is proposed and the regulations are officially changed. According to VA and Secretary McDonough, VA anticipates that this process is going to start um, in early 2023. They're aiming for January, but it could take a bit longer. So this effectively means that all newly eligible claimants will not get retroactive benefits back to the date of their original claim unless they're filing for DIC, but otherwise they can expect to get their benefits granted from at least August 10th, 2022. So more information on the context of the PACT Act can be found in our other videos and on our blog. And as always, we will continue to provide you with updated information regarding the PACT Act as VA's regulations are ultimately implemented. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest VA news and updates, and thank you for watching.